Hi everybody. Welcome back to the subject power systems. In this video, I would like to explain the concept of calculation of inductance of a transmission line. Before going to start the topic calculation of inductance of a transmission line, I would like to give some points regarding the inductance which is covered in the lecture number 3 constants of transmission lines. Inductance is concluded as an alternating current flows through a conductor. A changing flux is set up which links the conductor. Due to these flux linkages, the conductor possesses inductance. The mathematical expression for inductance is defined as flux linkages per unit current. Therefore, I am representing this one in terms of an expression that is inductance L is equal to psi by I. The units is Henry's. Then coming to the topic calculation of inductance of a transmission line. The determination of a flux linkages is of primary importance. In this, we shall discuss two important concepts of flux linkages. One is flux linkages due to a single current carrying conductor. Second one is flux linkages in parallel current carrying conductor. Coming to the first topic, flux linkages due to a single current carrying conductor. Consider a long straight cylindrical conductor of radius r meters and carrying a current i amperes. The current is of RMS value. This current will set up magnetic field the magnetic lines of forces will exist inside the conductor as well as outside the conductor. Both these fluxes will contribute to the inductance of the conductor. Then we have to calculate flux linkages due to the internal flux, flux linkages due to external flux. Then to calculate the flux linkages due to the internal flux, I am considering the cross section of the conductor. The magnetic field intensity at a point x meters from the center is given by h. This h represents the magnetic field intensity. This is the conductor. The current is passing through the one. It is of a radius r. I am considering the x distance. At this point, I am considering a small smaller length that is of dx. At this point x, I am considering the magnetic field intensity that is of h. According to the Ampere's law, it states that the MMF around any closed path is equal to current enclosed by path. In general expression, the enclosed integral h x ds is equal to i x. This integral enclosed integral nothing but the integration around your closed path this i x represents the current enclosed. But this integral d s is a closed circular path the closed circular path is 2 x 2 pi x. I am substituting this integral d s with this 2 pi x 
In the previous of expression, we are getting the integral of the closed integral of hx ds is equal to ix. I am replacing this integral ds with which term? That is with the 2 pi x. Then after this 2 pi x into hx is equal to ix. And simply rearranging the expression, this particular expression, hx is equal to ix by 2 pi x. Assuming a uniform current density, that means the current is passing the entire circumference of a circle of this conductor. This x belongs to the R. This x value is belongs to the R. That means this i x by pi x square is equal to i by pi r square. Why? Because we are assuming that uniform current density. The current is passing through the conductor that is uniformly. We are considering the assumption. And we are getting the expression for this assumption that is i x by pi x square is equal to i by pi r square. I am rearranging this expression is equal to i x is equal to I am thrown this one to this side that is pi x square into i by pi r square. This pi, this pi is cancelled. The remaining term is x square by r square into i. I am substituting this i x value in this expression that is hx expression hx is equal to and substituting this ix as x square by r square into i x square by r square into i into the remaining term is 1 by 2 pi x 1 by 2 pi x this x and this x square 1 x cancel then the remaining term is x by 2 pi r square into i ampere turns per meter. Then after I am substituting the value of uh, nu is equal to nu naught nu r is the permeability of the conductor then flux density at the considered point that is of the x x point considered point is given by b x is equal to nu naught nu r hx flux density this flux density value is equal to nu naught nu r hx Weber's per meter square this is the general expression for the flux density flux density is equal to nu into h nu is equal to nu naught nu r and substituting this nu is equal to nu naught into nu r in this one b x why because you are placing the x here we are calculating the flux density at x point. That is why we are represented that one as a bx value. bx is equal to nu naught nu r and h value we have to be calculated up to the x at a point x. That is why we are represented hx. This hx value already you are obtained in the previous that hx value is this one. This hx is equal to this, this particular value. I am substituting here, then the expression will be getting as nu naught nu r x by 2 pi r square into i. I am simply rearranging this one and by the substitution of nu r is equal to 1, why because means nu r is equal to 1 for non-magnetic material, then the expression will be getting as nu naught x i by 2 pi r square, Weber's per meter square. Now, flux d pi through a cylindrical cell of radial thickness dx and the axial length 1 meter is given by axial length that is 1 meter and the thickness dx for the thickness dx that will be getting as d pi value, the flux d pi value is equal to bx into 
the length we are considering is that is 1 meter 1 into dx the length into breadth that means we are placing here the area area value area length into breadth that is the length is the 1 1 meters and the dx value already you are concluded the value of bx in the previous of analysis that is bx is equal to nu naught x i by 2 pi r square i am substituting this bx value in this one this expression is getting as nu naught x i by 2 pi r square into dx Weber's. this flux links with current that flux links with the current the current value is that is ix is equal to i pi x square by pi r square only that means it is not uniformly distributed up to the x value some portion is that is linked with the with that current value that current value that is the ix value that ix value is equal to this the portion of the current the portion of the current the current total current is i the portion is pi x square by pi r square therefore flux linkages per meter length of the conductor is d psi is equal to pi x square by pi r square into d pi already you have concluded this d pi value and i am substituting that d pi value this particular d pi value in this expression and you are getting the expression as nu naught i x cube by 2 pi r to the power of 4 into dx Weber turns the total flux linkages for center up to the considered surface is psi internal value that means you are calculating here that is the internal value internal flux value flux linkages values that psi internal is equal to that is over the surface you are considering that x is extended to the r the integral of 0 to r nu naught i x q by 2 pi r to the power of 4 dx by the applying of the integral and the limits here we are getting the expression as nu naught i by 8 pi Weber turns per meter length this particular value is the internal flux linkages internal flux linkages and the second one that is the flux linkages due to the external flux that will be explained in the next video then after the total flux linkages that is the internal and the external flux linkages by the current gives the inductance value that is the inductance l is equal to psi by i that is the basic expression you are concluded in the at the time of starting that is why we are calculating the flux linkages value and by the current we are obtaining the value of inductance. Mm -hmm.